Welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. And as we're in lockdown again, I thought this was an ideal time to put together an omnibus edition. All the best bits from our southwest tour of England during September. Hope you enjoy it. made it to Hearn Lane and this is Hearn Lane in Somerset, um, a town called Burnham-on-Sea. Hearn Lane, across quite a busy road into this little country park and I'm uh, told that if we walk through here we get the prize. Let's see what there is. Fantastic. Miles of sand and some motorhomes and cars parked on the beach. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Are we all in? Oh, we're not all in. Oh, yet. Yeah. 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 Ye
Liberty! Yeah. <laughs> We're just about in, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was nice meeting Kaz and Pete, wasn't it? That's lovely. We had a right laugh. Oh, it's so lovely. Yeah, they are lovely, though. They are. Fantastic. Lovely couple. And thank you very much talking. for. Yeah, thank you for giving up Kaz. your afternoon um, to come and see us and show us around Burnham on Sea. Uh, taking a few pictures, but we did far too much talking. To take we thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Big thank you. And we'll put a link to their channel. Thank you for my get well card. Yeah, really kind. So yeah. we'll put a link to their channel in the description below and on screen as well. So check them out. They're lovely people. We're still in North Devon. We're at the Willingcott Caravan and Motorhome Club site. A little bit of a breeze, but uh, let's have a look around. There are quite a few grass pitches. A little less popular because it's been quite wet this last few days. Heavy showers. So our mission is to find the beach. We're just wondering how we're going to get across this little uh, stream here. Sue's gone investigating this time. She's gone ahead with one dog. Oh, Sue's got crocs on. You're bound to get wet with crocs. Your turn, Joe. <laughs> what are you going to do? You want to let him come through? 
Wait a minute, I'll let me get through and knock it. <laughs> this is a danger. No. Come on, Joe, what, what angle are you going to take then? This way, let him go, Joe. Let him go. Don't let his lead go in that mud. Oh, no. Come on, Harley. Come on. Come on, Harley. <laughs> Harley, come on, Bobby. Yeah, Harley. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Oh, my, my lying yard. <laughs> my, my knees were <laughs> Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> you didn't have too long, so. <laughs> Easy. Well, we got through that little chicane, <laughs> and uh, we're now walking down the hill, and we can see the sea. So we we know we're getting close to Wollacombe Sea, but this has turned into quite an interesting hike. Uh, we we just made a note that we've only probably only got about four hours of natural daylight left today, and. Uh, We ain't even halfway there yet. Um, not another one. <laughs> we got another one, have we? Yeah. I've enjoyed it. We had some laughs, didn't we? Do you think we'll find a beach? Yes, we're down going there. to. About another two miles. We can see it down there. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> I don't know. It might be. Look at the view. Beautiful views up here. Yeah, this is North Devon. Proper North Devon, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And there's the sea, just at the end of this path. <laughs> I'm sure it's another mile or more away. Oh. <laughs> I would give you a hand, but <laughs> oh, try the other leg. <laughs> I'm wrong, I can't hold it. That's it. <laughs> oh, you made it. Oh. Well, just so you know, this is actually a proper public right of way footpath. That's really hard. And that's hard work, but we're having such a laugh. The girls have gone a bit ahead now because we got stuck on that rickety old gate, but then. Fell into the water. Catch them up. <laughs> now we're going across a golf course. <laughs> Gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. Ah, there we are, you see. And we're still following the to the beach signs. Drinky time. Drinky time. Oh, Sophie's desperate. Yeah. Sophie's turn. Let me scoot the lid out of the way. Any Another style, another challenge. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, got him. I got him. But he's clean off his feet. Look, it's <laughs>
we have come to Ilfracombe on the North Devon coast and we're at the Ilfracombe Harbour, which is uh, all this area here is Ilfracombe Harbour. Harbour is quite pretty. Um, it's a typical Devon uh, seaside place really. Um, with the stacked houses on the hills and beautiful rolling green countryside of uh, North Devon. Um, Suze, with me, we just had a little rain shower, haven't we? It's been quite nice uh, until just now. We just had a little uh, rain shower, so she's got a hoodie on. <laughs> uh, we try to decide. There's cars just here. We only just parked up. We just try to decide whether to take a brolly. Yeah. Making my mind up what to wear. Sweater? No sweater. Brolly? No brolly. Well, we're not sure. I'm joking where you're walking. So we're just, uh, it, yeah, we're just waiting uh, to see uh, what's going to happen with this weather and then we're going to go for a little walk. There's one or two interesting things here I'll show you whilst we're hanging about. And, we'll look at uh, the pregnant lady. Oh, there's a pregnant with lady. With her innards on show. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have a look. <laughs> see what I think of that. Now our mission today was to follow up on a trip that we did, what, how many years would that be? 30 years ago? And we have a Not photograph, quite. almost 30 years ago, we've got yeah. a photograph yeah. of our children here, uh, which we'll show you, and uh, myself. And in this exact same position on the uh, shore side here at Ilfracombe. Let's have a look at the picture. Well, there's the picture. Uh, let me focus in on it. It's a little bit shiny in the light here. <laughs> now we're going to walk up the hill and find another position of a different photograph, which we'll come to in a moment. This hill right in front of us here. And we'll climb up this hill here to the top, and then we're going to take a view of the houses from the other side from up the hill and we'll show you the picture in just a moment. Now we're back at the place almost 40 years ago when uh, Sue and I first came here on holiday and uh, I took a picture of Sue with this backdrop and I'll show you the picture. Should be able to match up the buildings or some of them with the photograph. Just go left to right a little bit. So where have you brought us today then? We're at Morty, Morty Ho village and yeah. we're going to walk to Mort Point. Are we? Yep. Do you want to look around the village first? I haven't researched well, it Luckily yet. enough, no, that was me that did the research. It's ah. only 2.7 miles away from our campsite. Lovely. So, right, we're going to have a little look. Yep. There's a nice little post office down and here. And the we'll sun is trying to come out. It's been yeah. raining all morning and it's been really drizzly. So a little so. car park here, £3.30 for three hours. Yep. And. Uh, 
That's right in the village, so we're going to have a walk through the village first. Yeah, aren't we? that's got very good write ups in Google. Most people give it five stars. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. That's a bit blowy up here. Just a tad. <laughs> Lovely view though here, Sue. Yes, yeah, a mile walk to Mort Point. Okay. The coastal path. Yeah. The able bodied, it said. Yeah, able bodied. And good shoes. And have a good a thick layer on. Yeah, so a we're all chilly. ready. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Nice views. Better the styles. Yeah. All sorts of ways to come down to it. Isn't yeah, it? It's a bit there's nothing quite like a coastal path, and there's nothing quite like North Devon coastal path. It is quite a cloudy, windy day today, but uh, we don't regret a moment of it. It's just it's stunning up here. Uh, let me show you from this point what I can see. What do you think of that then? <laughs> um, I, I don't say the normal word. Is it lovely? Spectacular. It is. I think you're close on it. We've got to find the Mort Point. Okay. It's a little bit we're not blowy. Far from it. But uh, hoping to see some sea. We're loving the white water down here, aren't we, Sue? Let's have a look at this. Fabulous. Oh, we're going downhill now. See if we can get closer to the water. A bit slippery, so I'll just switch the camera off for a minute. That's where we're heading down here. Very slippery, I almost went over then. <laughs> I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna concentrate on the path. Well, we got as far as the point. Uh, it's very blowy up here and, and, and quite dangerous behind me. So uh, we're not gonna continue around the path that way. Uh, there's a lot of rock falls and uh, it's very slippery with the rain that we've just had. Um, the sun is breaking through so I think we could have a nice evening. But we're going to go back, uh, take the path that we came down on and then go onto the lower path nearer the sea a bit further round to make our way back to the village. So uh, we'll give you a quick look of what's this side of the point and then we'll walk back. So over in the distance there is Wollacombe Bay. Beach. Well, we're coming back along a low road, and behind me is Woolacombe Beach, and the sun's come out. We've got blue sky now. Amazing what an hour can a uh, difference make. We're just watching the shepherd come down the hill there on his little uh, 4x4, little quad bike. And he's got a dog with him as well.
We've had to move out of the way quickly because the sheep are coming. We, we suddenly found ourselves in a flock of sheep. Oh. <laughs> There we go. There we go. There we go. We found ourselves in a flock of sheep there for a minute. But the farmer's got them. They're over the hill. They're going up the hill now. Well, we're almost back from our long walk now. Haven't had the excitement of the sheep and the farmer. And uh, well, up the hill here is the village that we start where we started. So we'll just wander back and I think Sue talked about getting a cup of tea so I'm not sure whether we will or whether we'll go back to the uh, motor home now. It's getting sort of late afternoon, it's about five o'clock. So uh, nearly time for us to get back to the evening really. But we'll see how we get on when we get back to the village. Where you brought me today then? Croyd Bay. Croyd Bay? Yep. Now I think we have been to Croyd Bay before. We're walking to Baggy Point. We've definitely been to Baggy Point before. I've got a picture of me with just my shorts on at Baggy Point. Have you? Yeah. You'll have to show me that one. I will. <laughs> I've got a I'm not sure that I'm going to show it on YouTube though. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Maybe uh, my Twitter friends would uh, talk me into it. Anyway, we're going to walk to Baggy Point. We're not allowed on the beach here with the dogs, so we're um, going to walk along the coastal path again. It's really nice, and uh, Sheila and Joe are just catching us up. Yeah. Alright then. Should we go? Yeah. Right We made it to Baggy Point. Just and it's not that windy, is it? No, just don't step back too far. <laughs> no. Or fall over the dogs. No, because there's a bit of a drop back there. Are you supposed to walk down to that bit? Look up. Yeah. You Should can walk down there, yeah. Yeah. Shall we walk down there? Alright. Alright. No, I think this might truly be Puggy, Baggy Point. <laughs> Baggy Point. So we're right on the edge here. Of the, uh, there's a few people down there. But we've chosen not to, uh, chosen not to get in that last little bit. Well, there's been many a vlog of Trawithert Farm Caravan and Motorhome Club site showing the fantastic views, the drone footage and all of that and it really is a magnificent site. It's well documented, everybody wants to come here. The cliffs, the scenery, the fresh air.
path down to the coastal path from the site and you get these beautiful views and uh, if you're lucky enough you get a front row pitch like one of these where you can soak up the sunsets with Sheila and Joe on the next but one pitch And as you can see, we've got a reasonable view. We are blocked by one other unit, but uh, we're quite happy with that. Port Isaac, we're which is where Doc Martin. Martin was filmed, yeah. We're going to have a look down here. We've come to Village Hall, oh, so we're not okay. sure if we've got the right place or not, are we? No. Huh. We'll keep looking. So here yeah. we are in uh, what they call Port Wen on the program and uh, we just go around to the right here you can see the docks house got red car outside it uh, the one with the red car we think is uh, so that's the doctor's house there the little one with the red car outside and then uh, yeah, the cafe is down here on the steps. And this is the harbour where they film. And the tide is out at the moment. Very pretty. You can see why the film crews love it down here. And this is where they used to film the little cafe. On these steps along here. So where you take me this morning then? Boss Castle. Boss Castle, North Devon. We're hoping to walk it. Are we? Are we walking the roadway? No, we're walking the coastal pathway. The coastal path, oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we'll follow, oh, mind you don't slip, it's a long way down. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> we just left the caravan site there, and uh, Joe's behind me. Morning, Joe. Morning. And uh, we're yeah, heading down. Nerve-wracking experience. Yes, hopefully there's not too many styles this time. Hey, Joe. Yeah, too true, mate. <laughs> right, we're going to go down uh, this little path here, and you can see not much of a view. Um, it's actually quite spectacular. Uh, difficult to get perspective here, but um, there are a few people on the hill on the opposite side of the valley there. Don't know if we can zoom in and just catch a lady with a white shirt there. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> The sky is clearing out now, and uh, we can see for miles. We're looking across several bays in front of us here now and behind, um, and in one of these valleys is Boss Castle.
not too easy. I'm going to sit on this bench. Yeah, go on in. Yeah, have a little break. We it? need one. Yeah, we need a little break. We've climbed a lot of steps there. Yeah, that was, oh my yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's lovely. Nice bench. Yeah. Fresh air yeah. bench, that's called. Yeah. Yeah. Good for your side. Yeah, you stay there for a little while. See how long you can sit on it for. Oh, not for very long. <laughs> you want to sit on a bench, Joe? Yeah. Let's see what Joe does. Yeah. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Can't get down there? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to buy me a cup of tea when we get there? There'll be a drama up ahead, isn't there? Yeah. We're right in the park. <laughs> keep walking. Come on, keep walking. Very, very
we made it to the town, little town of Boss Castle. Very, very pretty little town. And uh, we've got the long walk back along the coastal path now. It's about three miles. But uh, we're gonna have a little look around a few shops in Boss Castle, spend a little bit of money, and then make our way back. Right, we're going this way, are we? Yep. We've had a lovely lunch in Tintagel. We've come back to the motorhome to collect the dogs. And we're now hitting the, t uh, the trail between Trewithert Farm Caravan and Motorhome Club and Tintagel. So we're gonna go as far as we dare, really. Uh, just a comfortable walk. We know it's very up and down. And uh, we're walking down the little path just at the back of the campsite now. So we'll um, show you what we're seeing as we walk along. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> a little bit, a little bit of a steep slope. Help! There we are. We're just a, about 20 yards out of the site. Bit of a blow. So hopefully the wind's not too much on the camera here. But, uh, it's been very misty and hazy today. But the sun is breaking through beautifully as we start our walk. We're just coming around the corner here now and we're getting a bit of a view. <laughs> we walked down here the other day just to have a quick look and we thought my goodness we've got to come back. We didn't have very long but we're going to get down to that bridge and uh, we're going to walk along to this little corner bit where there's some steps. Right, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> it truly is lovely. Yeah, that's beautiful here. We'll get up there next. Another little climb. And a campsite on the top of the hill. What you found then, Sheila? Another beach? Yeah, two. Yeah. Oh my word. It's beautiful. Very misty though. Another little climb. little ridge. It makes you wonder what you see the other side of these little ridges. Ah, better view of the beach. We're on our fourth site now on our southwestern tour of England and uh, we're at the St Agnes Beacon. Let's have a look around.
one thing to remember St Agnes Beacon there is uh, no toilet facilities uh, or shower block and uh, not every pitch is level it's a very natural undulating hillside here and uh, you will need some leveling blocks um, and all but one or two I think are grass pitches there's uh, no hard standing so I've noticed anyway the facilities are very good though and uh, look what happens when the sun comes out the whole place changes and we're going to go for a little walk we've already exercised the dogs so they're going to have a little rest it's a bit warm and it's a bit warm so we've put the silver screen on they're nice and rested that in the van so much difference it does doesn't it yeah and we're going to walk up to the beacon which is not too far it's a little bit of a climb and then if it's time we're going to go into the village i'd rather go to st agnes because i've already been to the beacon i walked that last night oh. <laughs> oh well we'll argue that one out then. All right, I'll let's probably get... get my own way, I usually do. Yes, let's, uh, let's go for a walk. Okay.
we're off on another one of our walks. This time we're looking for a doggy friendly beach and uh, everyone's got ahead of me. They're walking up towards the uh, St Agnes Beacon um, which uh, we get fabulous views from. So let's go and take a look see what we can find this morning. Well, looking down to the sea here from the uh, beacon along the roadside and lovely fields a few houses in the distance and we're just looking across the way here where we think that's Paranforth in the distance on the corner there that we're walking walking down the road now Never could get the hang of a good debt chair. What do you say, Sue? Wait till you get to the top. Is it pretty up there? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the top. Still climbing. Joe was determined to get there first. That's a campsite behind us. And we're at St Agnes Beacon. Let's have a look around. Came up in the dark last night. <laughs> It's spooky. <laughs> we won't do that again. No. Very spooky. That's the quickest I've ever gone downhill, I tell you. In the dark. <laughs> Well hello again and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. Uh, we've moved again, we're still on our tour of the southwest of England and we've come up to the main road here at the entrance of Merrow's Farm.
we're uh, a good way through our southwest tour of England and uh, where are we now Sue? Merrow's Farm isn't it? Merrow's Farm at St Moore's yeah on the south coast of Cornwall we've hopped across from north to south and uh, it's only about 25 miles but how long did it take us? almost two hours <laughs> two hours it's the traffic yeah we uh, got caught in a narrow lane with a tractor huge tractor and uh, we had to uh, uncouple the car and reverse back it took us about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes and then we took just a little bit of time uh, to check the vehicle over once we found a safe spot afterwards we'll show you that in another video at a later time but um, we're off on a little excursion now to Moore's Castle Moore's Castle which is uh, 20 minutes 20 minutes to get there that's only about a 15 minute drive there's plenty of parking. We're not taking the dogs, uh, we've walked them well this morning they're allowed, and they? uh, they're not allowed in the castle. Now we, this is a, um, a trip that I wanted to do because we saw the video by Campervan Tales, that's um, Daryl and Keith and I'll put a link to their video in the description below because I think with Covid some of the rooms w won't be open. So uh, we're going to look around the gardens and some of the castle today. Uh, it's an English heritage um, site so uh, let's get on the road then yep. and uh, we'll see you down there well, we've got a fantastic view already look at this Sue yeah. And this beautiful. This is what you come on holiday for, really, isn't it? I'll show you. What a way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Look at that. Lovely. Plenty of people out on boats and yachts. And over, over the there, over there is Falmouth. There's a lighthouse here. Look. Look there. There's a lighthouse in the other direction, is there? Well, there's a cruise liner there too. Looks like it, doesn't it? Mm. There's a lighthouse way in the distance over there. Uh, we probably can't pick that up with the camera, but we can pick these up. Look at these. Now, what I want to know is why has this one not got a bung in the end of it? Do I need to walk around the back? <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Now, the castle's up here on the hill, look. It's fabulous having such a beautiful day. I mean, we're so lucky with the weather this week. We've had a few cloudy bits, but uh, dry as a bone, no rain. One of the prettiest views of the holiday so far, I think. Oh. What do you say, Sue? Lovely. Isn't that lovely? Stunning. Got the castle up on the top there. And in front of us we've got the, uh, the beautiful uh, St Moors. That's St Moors down there. I can see the guns here in the yard. Not sure whether we can get into that part of the castle. Looks like it might be closed, but have a look anyway. Through the other side there, doing the same thing as me. Oh, go for this little tiny door. And use your hand sanitizer. Oh, okay. I'll do that then. I'll better turn the camera off and do that. And straight up these stairs. Give me a photo at the moment because I'm stained up <laughs> and my legs are not going where my brain wants them to go. Long story. <laughs> oh yeah, so that was where we were looking from outside just now, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're up on this deck here now.
steps down this time. Fantastic vantage point from up here. So uh, where we stood down there a few minutes ago. More steps. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, we're just saying to the gentleman in, in the shop, you know, there's an awful lot more to see uh, inside the castle walls, isn't there? Mm. Um, if you go and have a look at Campervan Tales video, link in the description below, you'll see uh, uh, what they saw inside. There's lots of uh, exhibits inside, and there's five levels, so uh, there's quite a bit inside that uh, is closed off because of the uh, Covid situation, but um, uh, we've on a fine day. It's lovely to walk around, isn't it? Babe? Yeah, it's nice to go around the grounds on the outside, isn't it? Yeah, and the gardens. So, I'm sh sure that you know, in the height of summer, they would have been full of colour. But uh, really lovely to look at. So we're going to march off now and uh, go for a little walk. Shall we go down yeah. to St Moore's? Yeah, that's well. Yeah, we we'll leave the car here. We'll take the low road or the high road. <laughs> Dogs are banned. No. no dogs down on the beach. Well, we've left them at home in the van. Beautiful thatch cottage just down here. Mm. Now, can you imagine owning a property like this? And a view like that. Home. Sue can't resist it, so much so, she's found a bargain rail. Yeah. This is where the boat tours leave from and uh, go out to Falmouth. wander around the square here and standing in the middle of the road hoping that no cars come it's fairly quiet there's quite a few people milling about but it's not, it's not crowded and I stumbled across the big uh, pay and display car park for St Moore's here and uh, the visitor centre Roseland visitor centre and the public toilets All, uh, nice and convenient for a nice walk along the the front there. Sue's found a fat face sale. More shopping. Ice cream time. What you got there? Cherry and custard and a waffle. Oh, that sounds Instead nice. Of a traditional got corner. the uh, dairy free option. <laughs> the um, orange calippo. Well, it quenched me thirst, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. This is lovely. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Well, we're walking out of the uh, park, Merrow's Farm, along the little private road uh, in the hope of finding the coastal path on the south coast of Cornwall. We're not sure what we're going to find. Um, we've just got a little bit of information from the hut uh, giving us directions uh, to the coastal path and it's, it's um, about a quarter of a mile, I think, to get to the sea. So, let's see. <laughs> well, we've decided that we're going to go towards the Pendower Beach, which is sort of in an easterly direction along the south coast here. 
and uh, we can see it across the bay. I'll just walk up the hill a little bit and give you a shot from here. The signpost is just down there. And we can see the beach in the distance around there. And Sue's just taken the path. I'll catch up with her. Seems like a good point to show you our progress. Just climbed a little bit of a hill there and uh, got a better view of the beach. I think what we might do is walk along the beach as long as it's dog friendly. Um, we haven't checked that, so uh, but there are options we can walk along the path or we can walk along the sand. Nice view, nice long beach. And the last little bit of path down the beach here now. Well, we found the beach. There's a lovely cool breeze down here and Sue's gone for a paddle. Mission accomplished. Well, good morning and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. We have moved again and we're back in Devon. We've done a two hour or so journey from Merrow's farm up uh, the A30. Uh, we took the main roads this time and we're at a lovely little site that we visited three years ago uh, called Stover. And it's right next to Stover Country Park. So it's not part of the park, but it is indeed right next door to it. So it's a very pretty little area. There is a busy road alongside the site, which once you get on the site, you don't really know this, but uh, it's a beautifully kept Caravan and Motorhome Club site again and uh, here there's no toilet block or um, showering facilities on the site but um, as we know with the current health situation nationally these sites are as popular as ever. So uh, show you a, a quick look around the site, it's very pretty, there's lots of people moving about this morning so we'll try not to invade their privacy of course and then a little later today we'll take you around the country park and show you the lake and uh, some of the exhibits around the uh, the country park. It's very pretty indeed. Let's have a look. A very pretty little reception here where a slightly different process. We had to make a phone call rather than get out of your vehicle when you're on arrival and uh, pay by phone and then uh, you wander around with your van to find a pitch and you can ring them up and uh, let them know what pitch you're on. They do come out with a map and some information about the site so you do meet the wardens as you arrive but uh, contact is minimised because of the Covid crisis. Now we're having a little look around, there isn't, isn't, isn't a big site and um, as you can see trees and a lovely laid out site here with all the usual facilities for emptying waste, bins and so on.
beautiful young oak tree just there. And through the canopy of the trees in the woods. <laughs> Been walking around in the country park for nearly an hour and we're still finding things. It's uh, really peaceful. There's quite a few people walking about but it's not crowded by any means. There's just uh, a few people walking their dogs and taking their time. Who spotted the flag? Canadian flag. And there's a monument which we're going to go and have a little look at. There's two Canadian forestry corps men on one of the horses they relied on to work the forest. It was created in 2018 by Andrew Frost to mark the centenary of the First World War, I remember the enormous contribution made by the Sawdust Fusiliers at Stover. And we've come to a, a location that has a river walk, a nice town. It's a seaside. Black swans. There's black swans. With red beaks. And there's trains. Yeah. It's got everything. And it was recommended by Caravan Chit Chat. Our friends from Ipswich, uh, Aaron and Vicky. Um, I think they'd live here if they, if they could. <laughs> it's their favourite spot. So where are we? On a dog friendly beach. On a dog friendly beach in Dawlish. And uh, we've got to find that nice cake shop that they like. Ooh. And a few other things as well. Oh, you didn't tell me about that. Nah, you see. <laughs> I keep some things to myself. So we'll walk around, I'll show you around. Shall we show them around? And uh, yeah. this really is pretty. <laughs> We've walked quite a long way along this railway line and seen several trains and we're still carrying on a little further. It's quite pretty down here with all these red cliffs and uh, the sound of the sea. But very warm. <laughs> it's 
Going to drop at the end of the uh, pier here. And you've got the water. And look what Sue has found. Look at the choice. Goodness me. Good pudding. Pudding? Apple pie. Carrot cake. Coffee cake. Chocolate cake. Bread bread. Lots of pies. Chocolate flapjack. I think I'll have a bit of bread and butter pudding. Oh, pudding, dear. Oh, I'll show you the other side here. Hang on. Oh, look. All sorts of peats, sarum pasties, and steak slice. And so there's more. Oh my word. Just a little bit of clotted cream. And some cream teas. And we've come out in Little Ethel today onto Dartmoor. And can you remember the name of the place that we've parked? Hater. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, Yes, it's a route that's been recommended to us by two people, our dear friends, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Caravan Chit Chat, and also the warden at Stover Caravan Club site. Wasn't it? Swap dogs today because Sophie has got into a habit of rolling and she doesn't do it as often with me because uh, she walks, seems to walk better with me. So Sue's taken Oscar. Nice view from up here. at the top the wind sort of. <laughs> just when you think you are it looks like there's another view over the ridge here
we found a little place called Whitcombe. And we only travelled two or three miles down the road. Beautiful uh, scenery across Dartmoor. And a little car park behind the kiosk here was £1.50. And we can stay all day if we want to. Um, it's a lovely little village. Uh, there's a pub just down here and a couple of little shops, a cafe behind me and a beautiful church. So we're just going to wander around. I think Sue wants to get uh, her usual coffee and cake. So uh, let's see what happens. Well, we've come to a little cafe on the green, haven't we Sue? Yeah. And what have we got today? I've got cream tea oh, yeah. with the fruit scone. Yeah. And what is yours? Raspberry jam uh, slice or something? Yeah, is there's, a, like ras an there's a raspberry bake well. Bake well, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I've got normal tea. Terrible I've memory. Green tea. Yeah, I've got green tea. Yeah. Mmm, lovely. We're following the signs of the craft market. Must be in the old church hall.